show up for the start of morning training, and what do I find? Frickin' seaweed! Just get back to work, Yuma. I'm gonna hurl! Uh -huh. Better out than in, buddy. <laughs> Gross, bro! Keep our oceans clean! Less chit-chat, more hustle. Remember, hiring this boat costs money. Dictator. All right, let's get started. Ow. I think I just bruised my butt. Have you heard of Jean Cocteau? Huh? He was a French writer and artist who called sumo the art of balance. You try to maintain yours while disrupting your opponents. Now I get huh? it. We use the boat's rocking to strengthen our muscles. Should improve our balance a lot. That's precisely the point. <laughs> huh? I knew this had something to do with our training. You'd have to be an idiot to think the seaweed's not part of it. Huh? A handful of this stuff and suddenly it becomes the same width and toughness as a mawashi belt. Ideal for practicing our grabs. No, the seaweed is just seaweed. Huh? You sure? It's still just morning and I'm already beat. I can't wait until class so I can catch some shut-eye. You still remember that day, don't you? Hmm? You were in the arena? You should have told me! I didn't get a chance to watch you compete, seeing as how quickly you were eliminated from the match. <laughs> Just wait until next time. Are you there, Kirihito? Tell me this. Do you like sumo? Uh, yeah, of course I do! How could you even ask me that? Nothing's better than a Yokozuna-style victory. You haven't won since you started middle school. <laughs> Is losing fun to you? That may be how you want to fight, but isn't there a more practical way of winning? Just because you work hard doesn't mean you'll be successful. I know. I've heard it before. Master Yamato Kuni said the same thing. I didn't know that. When you met him your first year of middle school? Yeah, way back. I couldn't believe I was allowed to have a lesson with him face to face. Then... Now, show me some of your moves so I can see what you're made of, boy. Yes, sir! His last year's elementary Yokozuna. Small for his age. Doesn't look like he's grown much since then. You're right. Probably why he hasn't been competing. Gentlemen, choose your words more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what they say. Even so, don't you think it's foolish to attack an opponent directly when your height is a clear disadvantage? Master Yamato Kuni, during your sumo career, you met opponents head on. That's how I choose to live all aspects of my life. <laughs> well, that goes for me too. I promise you, I will wear another Yokozuna belt. Nothing will stop me. Oh. Starting today, practice for three years. And after that, what happens next? We'll meet again, and then you can show me the kind of life you've decided to live. I haven't changed my mind one bit since then. It's impossible. I won't. Yeah, big surprise. Which is why I prepared for this eventuality. I did a little research, just out mm -hmm. of curiosity. You know, scoping out what all it takes to become a sumo pro. Are you aiming for the Sekitori level? My goal is mixed martial arts, not sumo. But check it. To go pro, the wrestlers have to pass a physical exam. The minimum height is 167 centimeters. But that means... Yeah, I know. He'll never be one of the pros, no matter how hard he trains. It's totally unfair. Then why does he keep pushing himself? Is it just because he loves sumo that much? Where on earth does a kid find that kind of motivation? I've made individual training regimens. Please follow them. No deviating. You made one for each of us? Excuse me. Huh? Hmm? You're taking part in the tournaments alongside us, aren't you? We're grateful for your help, but doesn't this cut into your own training? I won't be competing in any bouts. 
You're sure you don't want to take my place on the team? Since I'm a rookie, I could trade with you. You've done sumo before. Plus, we want to increase our chances of winning, so what gives? Why are you sitting out? One more thing. If you've got what it takes to lead us, you should prove it. You're a real pain. What? If you need me to show you I'm qualified, I'll have Mitsuhashi beat all of you. No! <gasps> trade spots not fight in your place don't worry do what i say you'll be fine <laughs> come on is this some kind of joke a real comedian i'm going to enjoy this <laughs> not happening definitely not gonna win Spirit! Remember what he said. Watch his hands. Do it now! <laughs> Sorry. Nice going, Kay. He waited until the moment you and his feet were square on. Damn it. How'd I lose? Shall I explain? When you hand slap, you're putting all your strength into your upper body. The legs can't keep up. Stepping aside's enough to throw off your balance. That's all it took? Your normal sparring partner shares some of the blame. That idiot never pulls away. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda hard to argue when you're the one on the floor, huh? Now then, I'm curious, what lesson do you think you can teach me, Professor? Professor? Mitsuhashi. Huh? Being Yuma's one thing, but he's facing off with the national wrestling champion. Does this guy even have a weakness? <gasps> An inside ankle sweep. Shall I explain? Yeah, please, Professor. Your footwork is sloppy and all over the place. When you take a step, it should be flat. <clears throat> Work on pointing your toes outward and shuffling your entire soul when you move. Yes, sir. It's up to you. All right, don't fail us. Uh, sure. Spirit! <laughs> Electrum? Looks like I'll have to push him back. No, not like that. Grab closer to the ankle. Got it! <laughs> not bad. I did it! Sure did. But how? Your legs are strong, Captain. <laughs> However, your upper body's weak. You didn't push him back hard enough, so he was able to get close and take you down. I admit it. He really does know everything. It's so obvious. I completely understand now, Professor. Huh? In order for us to win, we need to research our opponents first and discover their weaknesses. But there's one thing we lack. The brains! Well, say something! No one who competes at the national level has shortcomings as glaring as yours. <clears throat> Why would they? They're balanced, experienced wrestlers. The top of their game. Come prelim time, you'd be a team of novices with only a few months of training under the belt, struggling to make it through the first round. <clears throat> but that's why you have me. With Mitsuhashi's help, I showed you all areas to improve, not weaknesses. <laughs> With what time we have left to train, we'll hone the weapons each of you possesses to a keen edge. Even if you're not well-rounded, all you need is one killer move. If you have that, you can become specialist sumo wrestlers and reach the national level. What do you mean? Your turn, Hinomaru. You're a skilled wrestler, but there's always room for improvement. I'll change, and then we'll begin our bout. Huh? Uh. A little slim, but the dude definitely works out. So is he competing? Both of these guys were in sumo together all the way back in elementary school. I know it's been a while, but was Suji any good? I thought they were supposed to be friends. Are you sure you want to do this? 
You should know I'm not gonna hold anything back. There are times I don't make myself clear, but you talk too much. I'm taking this seriously, so it's best you leave the attitude outside the ring. I will take a page from your book and attack head-on, though. Fair warning. Otherwise, you won't get the point I'm trying to make. Hold up. That's a spider stance. Can he even stand up from a position that low? Let's do this. He's fast! Hinomaru was forced into making low contact. He cut off his charge! No way! How's he doing so well? Ushu pushed him off with a neck grab! Those are some heavy blows. This is the style of sumo you're talking about. But don't forget, if you don't win, then you can't call it Yokozuna style! Awesome! An arm grab counter! This guy's got some crazy techniques up his sleeve. Same hand, same grip, it's just like Ushio's. What do you think you're trying to prove? You know how this will end. But if you want to see what three years of training looks like, be my guest! It's over. Here comes the finishing move. Combining a throw with a turn! Hundred Demon Takedown! Just because you work hard doesn't mean you'll be successful. I still regret my words. Why did I say that? He practices more than anyone else. And the only thing I can do is question his devotion to Sumo? I'll never say those words again. I found a way you can be successful, and not let all your effort go to waste! They're both doing the same maneuver! You couldn't defeat Kusanagi this way. So I'll take your sumo and make it a thing of the past. He doesn't really think he can beat Ushio with his own move. Here's your lesson. This is your full potential. A throw. A turn. Something extra. A triple combo technique. Damn it. Been a long time since I've seen the ceiling. I take it you... Don't need me to explain. It's more than just a simple turn and throw. It's three attacks combined into one. That's your ace. Your one opportunity, when there's none left. So you took his technique and added something on. Makes sense, I'd take a triple combo over a double any day. Yeah, you'd think so. But using that move has a huge risk. Huh? How come? Think about it. It's difficult enough combining two moves. Imagine adding one more. There's no coming back after that. If it doesn't work, then you're out of options. So this secret weapon could still end up costing the entire match. Is it really worth it? Thank you, Kirihito. It's a gamble I'm willing to take. Used to be a time. I rejected your sumo. Now I want to see more. <clears throat> Charging at Titans and knocking them to the floor? It'll have its very own name, Hinomaro Sumo. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it. Do me a favor. Clean up while I catch my breath. Great news! I guess you get to be bench warmer after all. That was so incredible! He's a great coach and an amazing wrestler. Dachi might just become the best sumo school in Japan. Oh, his glasses. Mr. Tsuji! <laughs> Group competitions are gonna be a breeze. Me, Hinamaru, and the prof are surefire wins. Hey. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Uh -oh. <gasps> Kirihito can't compete in group competitions. So now you know what my flaw is. <sighs> He's got weak lungs. Even though sumo bouts typically don't last long, they're super intense. 20 seconds. <clears throat> That's his limit. The amount of time that his lungs will hold out. No, you can't. Any longer than 20 seconds, I'll drown. There's no way I could last an entire tournament. Not when there's several bouts a day. I cursed fate for making me this way. Lost the will to keep going. Even quit sumo. But then... I saw something. An idiot who had every right to give up like I did. 
yet continued fighting. I felt pathetic. I couldn't do sumo. But I had to find a way to stay involved. That's why you want a coach? Yes. Because I want to see Hinomaru succeed. You never gave up! Huh? But how can someone like me who's not even at the starting line compete? Accept it. You're a sumo wrestler, Kay. <sighs> After practice, I've seen you. Training in the park. I... I only do that because I feel like I'm falling behind the others and need to... The club's fifth member... is you, all right? <sighs> Man, talk about a tough break. Not able to compete just because of something you can't help. Well, Hinomaru's in the same boat, you know. Mm -hmm. Come on. Everybody here knows you're too short to be a professional. Seriously, dude? So why? Why train for something that's never gonna happen? I'll tell you. He doesn't meet the Pro League requirements, but there's still a way he can join it. How? The student who wins the inner high is named the High School Yokozuna. They're invited to participate in the All Japan National Championships. Never heard of it before. It's a tournament for amateur wrestlers, including everyone from college students to adults. If you're the winner, you receive preference and enter the Makushita division. And preference is what? It's a system for all incoming members. Normally, you'd start off unranked, but the champ skips ahead several divisions right up to Makushita. Hmm, but I still don't see how that makes Hinamaru tall enough. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Captain, the rule. There's more to it than that. <gasps> Once an amateur wrestler receives preference, they aren't required to pass any physical exams. <clears throat> so height doesn't matter. But in order to do that, you're going to have to be the best high school sumo wrestler. I'm asking you, will you please allow me to be your coach? All I want is for him to realize his dream. I was in a bout with a student from another school. I realized that I went against your wishes. I ask your forgiveness. And how was it? It felt good to remember how much I love Sumo. There's other competitors out there that I'm dying to meet in the ring. I want to defeat every one of them and become the top high school Sumo wrestler. Then turn professional and show I am the son of Yamato Kuni. That's how I intend to live. For the first time, you've expressed your own dreams. <laughs> live as you wish. Yes, sir. By the way, the student you had about with, do you happen to know his name? Hinomaru Ushio. Hinomaru. Interesting. Appears the boy has been training hard these last few years. Come on, stop bowing, Suji. I get this is a big deal for you. It's not just Kuze, there's more like him. Other national treasures that you'll have to defeat. The technically gifted Mizuki Sada from Ishigami High, the giant from Kanazawa Kira, Tenma Hikage, and the strongest high school Yokozuna in history, Shiro Tenoji from Todori Hakuo. Way more than I expected. This is getting good! I plan to cut them down to size and earn a Yokozuna belt. That used to be my only goal. What changed? It isn't just about me anymore. We're gonna be the best sumo team in Japan! <clears throat> like all of us? Tsuji. Yes? I have a formal request for you. Please become the coach of Dachi High Sumo Club! We've been relying on Ushio to carry the weight. But that's not good enough. Obviously, we want him to reach his personal goal, but together we want to be the best team in all of Japan! Please help us get to that point! Osaki. Prepare for hell starting tomorrow morning. Like that's supposed to scare us. We'll work hard! Looks like we're harvesting seaweed again. Again? Just remembering it makes me want to... No puking in the ring, Pee-wee! <laughs> <laughs>